شهرون عظيم 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 رمضان كريم 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 شهرون عظيم عظيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان العين الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم All praises due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for having enabled us, blessed us with this holy month and enabled us, gave us the opportunity to have these sessions. We're now on the final session of this show of the um, Shah Ramazan focus time with the Haydari ladies and um, we've decided to dedicate this last show in the loving memory of our dear Murhumin who we've lost since the last year um, during since the pandemic began. Um, Zahra Kanani has joined me today and inshallah we'll go through each and every Merhum. Um, and before we start, I will also uh, mention that if there is, uh, throughout the show, as you see the pictures of the Merhumin, if you can um, remember them with the Surah Al-Fatiha as you're watching it, um, and also if there is any memory that you have of the Merhum, you can also put it on the comment section um, in the in the in the in the YouTube uh, comment section inshallah. So we'll start off um, with the uh, with remembering these Merhumin. Um, the first thing that I wanted to just point out as well is the very first dua that everybody remembers from the duas of Shah Ramadan, um, which little kids as well um, always memorize it, the first and foremost dua is Allahumma adkhil ala ahlil qubur is surur. So it's very, very important that we remember our marhumin, and especially as it's just, you know, perhaps the night of Eid for many and, you know, just the last day of Shah Ramadan for many of us. We remember our marhumin even more so during these days. Um, so inshallah, uh, we ask you all to join us in remembering them all. So Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, we'll start with the problem show. Um. <laughs> So the very first marhum that we lost um, in the beginning of 2020 was marhum Azarina by Fazir Ali Taki. She was the wife of Sher Muhammad Fazir Ali and the sister of brother Ali Taki, Ali Uncle Taki. And she passed away on the 3rd of January, 2020. The next marhuma that we remember is marhuma Wazir Begum Sheikh, who passed away on the 28th of March, 2020. And a tribute from her family reads that we will forever miss her wisdom, foresight and advice and encouragement in Islamic and educational matters. I think all of us will miss, will miss her wisdom, not just the family. Uh, we'll miss her endless fountain of du'as for her community and to see them prosper and succeed and her continuing financial support to Haydari and the World Federation will also be missed. Marhuma Sherbanu Bayan Fazal Jetha, we lost her on the 3rd of April of 2020. She was the beloved mother of Salim Jetha and Bilkis Anti Somani. Um, and many people in Haydari know her fondly as Faiba. Faiba. Um, she is very much uh, no, famously known as Faiba um, in the community. The next marhum who we honor is marhum Asghar Ali Ghulam Hussain Kesvani, who we lost on the 3rd of April 2020 last year. Marhum was the uncle of Daira and Tijan Muhammad and Kaniz by Kesvani, both Hydri members. Uh, so sadly, we lost him last year as well. 
We also lost a very lovely lady, Marhuma Zera Damani, on the 11th of April of 2020. Marhuma was the wife of Kulam Akhtal Damani, and the thing that I remember most about Zera Auntie was she was always smiling. She'd always come to you and give out sweets to everybody that was there in the mosque. Bless her. May Allah bless her soul. Always cheerful, always happy. Always. The next marhum who we honor is marhum Munawar Uncle Ratansi, who left us on the 7th of June last year. Munawar Uncle was well known amongst our entire community, and he was known in the community and through his wider family as Muna. Uh, he was a great leader who served our community in various capacities, serving as secretary of Hedri Jamaat, president of COEJ for two terms, and president and vice president, sorry, of the World Federation for two terms. He was well known for his kindness, his generosity, his strong faith, his sense of humor, but above all his integrity and his quiet but powerful demeanor. He was a very devoted family man and I had the pleasure of witnessing this myself, very loving, very warm and caring. And he leaves behind his beloved wife, Zinatanti, his son, Muhammad, his daughter-in-law, Anissa, and little baby, Layla, who arrived only a few months ago. Marhuma Rubabai Chattu, we lost her on the 8th of June. Marhuma was the loving mother of Noshad and Kalen Shinaz Auntie Chattu. And the family would like to say thank you to the seniors and volunteers who assisted in the care home, as well as in the Haider Islamic Center. The next Marhum who we honor is Marhum Mubarak Uncle Hassam, who we lost on the 3rd of July, 2020. A tribute from his family reads that he was a loving husband, a loving father, and a grandfather to eight grandchildren who went back to his creator on the 3rd of July, being the 11th of Zilgad, 1441 AH, after a short illness. He was the pillar of their family and very much a people person, always had a smile and brought a smile to those around him. His immense love for Imam Hussein alayhi salam led him to complete three Arba'in walks from Najaf to Karbala, and his last wish was to visit Karbala one more time. And those who knew him and loved him will know that their lives will never be the same without him. And that's my papa, Marhum Gulam Abbas Malikya. We lost him on the 11th of September last year. Um, before I read this poem, there's a little poem that my niece wrote on, um, on his 40th, but it's very hard for uh, anybody to say anything about um, their father. Um, but just, I'd like to take this opportunity to um, say thank you to the community because I think Papa was the only Marhum who, us immediate family being there, but we were not able to be there, um, not, not his kafan or his dafan, um, but this really helps you value the importance of a community. Mashallah, the community stood up right there and they were all there. Um, Papa, alhamdulillah, got his final rights and he got his kafan and dafan time. So this is a short poem um, that my niece Rukaya wrote for him. Without you, my life isn't complete. Without you, every day my heart weeps. With your loss, we suffer so much. To the extent your photos cannot be touched. The poems you would read were amazing to hear. Now your melodic voice echoes repeatedly in my ear. When you were here, you were such a joy to be around. Now we can't even witness your sound. All night, beautiful memories cause my tears to flow like rain. And now all we have inside is enduring pain. You left us words of wisdom and lessons to learn. So in the afterlife, great rewards we can earn. Your love and passion for God inspires me too. And inshallah, with little lessons of life, we will reach you. The next marhum we honor is a marhum whose passing shocked the entire core of this community. It's marhum Akil Hassan Nurli who passed away on the 2nd of November, 2020. Marhum Akil was a beloved son, loving husband and doting father who returned to his creator suddenly on the 2nd of November, 2020. Akil Hassan's sudden passing has left his, his family, his friends, his colleagues and entire community absolutely devastated. Despite leaving this world at the tender age of 33, Akil achieved so much, both personally through his long-standing devotion to the Hedri community and professionally as a formidable barrister. A true lover of Ahlul Bayt and our Imam alayhim salam, Akil Hassan's strength of character and faith shone in each aspect of his precious life. 
He was a future leader in our community and will be dearly missed by all who knew and loved him. We pray to Allah for his legacy to continue through his beautiful daughter Zainab, his family, his friends, and the young community members that he inspired by all that he achieved, inshallah. Next, Marhum also passed away the same time as Akil, the same day, literally, with Marhum Noshad Bisram. And again, it's very difficult, but this is what Rubab sent me, his daughter sent me a message for him. My dad will always be my hero. He's made me what I am today, and I consider myself to be the luckiest girl in the world. He wasn't just my dad, he was my confidant, my first love, and he always be my role model. Also, not only was he a great father, he was a great husband, the best friend my mom ever had. The words, if only, always come to mind. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves him more than us, and we know, inshallah, we will be together again. Please remember him in your du'a. The next Marhuma whom we honor is Marhuma Azmina Bai Panjwani, who left this world to meet her creator on the 15th of November 2020. Azmina Anti was the wife of Askar Bai Panjwani, the mother of Zainali and Meher Fatima Panjwani, and the sister of Shaina Bai Jadavji. A loving daughter, a loving sister, wife and mother, loved very much dearly by all. We lost Marhuma Zera by Ratani on the 24th of November of 2020. She was always helpful and smiling. And many will remember her as someone who used to pot and plant tomatoes and marcha for everyone. Many committee members have fig and bay leaf trees in their gardens thanks to her. May she now enjoy from the fruits of mm -hmm. Jannah, inshallah. The next Marhuma who we honor is somebody who the entire ladies side knew very well, Marhuma Nasim by Jivani Somji, who passed away on the 18th of January 2021. Nasim was an active member of the community, both in her local neighborhood as well as her faith community. She was amongst one of the very first Haydari volunteers, the center having opened its doors in 1982, giving the opening speech. She set up a madrasa for all ages from 8 to 80 and founded the Ladies' Union through which she organized events, invited celebrities and propagated Islam through inter-Jamaat and interfaith functions such as the Hussein Day and the Lady Sakina Day. She passionately defended the truth and never tolerated injustice in any form, whether it was her children or grandchildren, not sharing with their siblings or putting herself forward as part of a peace delegation and speaking with courage. speaking with courage in European Parliament, I think what I'll always remember about Nasimanti was um, her, her, all, her, her regard for the sanctity of the Majlis of Imam al-Hussein. I will never forget how much respect she had for the sanctity of the Majlis of Imam al-Hussein. That will always stay with me. Her love for Azadari will always stay with me. Indeed, very rightly so, Zara. The next marhum that we remember was the brother-in-law uh, of Brother Ali Ankaltaki, marhum Sher Muhammad Fazar Ali. His wife, who we just remembered earlier, and he also unfortunately lost him as well earlier this year on the 22nd of January. The next Marhum who we honor is somebody who is very dear to the whole of Haydari. Our very own Marhum, Shakib Gudarzade, who we all knew as Jack. Haydari's very own beloved security guard, always smiling, cheerful, helpful. He will forever be missed. Personally, I have memories of him helping me to park when I was coming to mosque alone. I remember him uh, shaking his head at my parking. <laughs> I remember him standing at the door on a couple of occasions when I was leaving the mosque late at night by myself, making sure that I got to my car. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala elevate his status in Jannah, inshallah. Ilahi amin, ilahi amin, inshallah. Definitely missed by everybody. The old head, they will never be the same again going to there without him being there. The next Marhum we remember is Marhum Musa uncle, Musabai Rauji, as he is very famous, known as Musabai. He left us on the 23rd of February, 2021. He was the husband of Rubab Bai Rauji and the father of Sister Sukhen Alilani and Sister Habiba Nurani and his other children as well, but these were the ones that are from the Haidari Islamic Center. Um, and the message from uh, the family is that Allah has you in his arms and we have you in our hearts. From what I remember, what I've heard about Musabai is that he was to be a very active member of the community and especially in the Kafandafan committee as well. 
Um, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him with Jannah. I will forever remember him giving the connection in Salah on the on the Jan side and saying Allahu Akbar loudly if the mic connection was ever lost. Bless. So we have him to thank for making sure our Salah was always uh, complete. Indeed, the next marhum who we honor is again somebody very close to our hearts, marhum Hafiz Uncle Karmali, who we lost just a few weeks ago. Beloved husband of Thayer Anti Karmali, father to Rizwa and Mahmoud Abbas and Murtaza Karmali. And the tribute from the family reads that he was a loving and caring husband, an excellent family man who touched the hearts of so many people worldwide and left his mark in their lives. His always present smile warmed all of our hearts and he was always ready to help in any way. He was the backbone of our family and always taught us to do tawakkul on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to be content to his will. He was a great lover of the Ahlul Bayt salam, which explains his love for Azadari, attending the majalis of Imam al-Hussein and going for ziyara and umrah. He was a dedicated community member and taught our children core subjects in Islam. He was a madrasa teacher, if I remember, if I remember correctly. His love for the Holy Quran was immense and he was the epitome of the hadith by Imam Ali alayhi salam live amongst people in such a manner that if you die, they weep over you, and if you are alive, they crave for your company. Losing him has left a great void in our lives and in our community that can never be replaced. However, we will always endeavor to emulate him so that we can be reunited in Jannah, inshallah. The next Marhum we remember is Marhum Yunus Uncle Sheikh. I always remember him as Yunus Chacha. He just left us very recently as well. In the last few months after Papa passed away, whenever I used to go to Kabrasta, he would always be there, always be there. And he told me so many things in the last few months. The message from his uh, family reads that he will always, we will forever miss his salawats, which we all do as a community as well. We all will always miss his salawats during the majalis, his adhan and iqama during salah, before salah, sorry, and beautiful duas after salah, especially when he used to recite the duas in Urdu. His contagious smile, his positivity, jokes, and his ability to communicate with young and old. His yoga classes for the elderly people, and I remember um, one of his sons told me this, that, and I'm thinking this is probably because of the fact that he used to be so active, mashallah, until his last days, that Marhum Yunusacha used to pray his salah until the last day, like standing on his feet, he'd pray his namaz as well, mashallah. And also, we, he'll be, he will be missed for his continuing financial support to Haideri and the World Federation as well. We lost both um, Marhum Bapa and Ma um, in the last Within year. A year. Within a year. The next Marhum we honor is somebody who is very close to my heart, my uncle, Marhum Mustafa Uncle Onlidatu, who we lost on the 28th of April, 2021. And a tribute from his family reads that he was a devoted son, loving brother, wonderful husband, beloved father and grandfather, a caring and compassionate person who touched the lives of everyone around him in a positive way. His humor and lovely personality will be missed. His dedication to his family, faith, community and career will live on, inshallah, as his legacy. Inshallah, inshallah. And during this time of... During this last year, we have not only lost Haideri members, but we've lost a lot of Haideri members' parents as well. Lots of Marhumin that we've lost um, from our community's families. Um, and since we haven't been able to see each other properly or grieve them or, you know, offer our condolences to them, we thought let's remember them um, today, inshallah, in this short uh, program. And let's mention them and also remember them with the Surat Al-Fatiha as well. So. So the first individuals that we want to honor are Marhum Mohsen Ali Ade and Marhuma Alia Ade, both of whom passed away within three or four days of each other. So Marhum Mohsen Uncle passed away on the 29th of March, 2020, and Ali Auntie passed away on the 3rd of April, 2020. They were the parents of our very own sister Oni Hussein and sister Zehra Jafar. And the tribute from the family reads, your lives were a blessing, your memory a treasure, you are loved beyond words and missed beyond measure always in our hearts and our prayers. We also lost Marhum Ijaz Ahmad Khan, um, the beloved father of Mahmoud and Shujat Khan, and father-in-law of Taira and Nazia uh, Khan, as you famil uh, famously know them, very active members of the community. Um, and I have a little um, tribute to read from them as well. 
which says Ijaz Bai, as most used to know him, was instrumental in creating the foundations for the Majari Sufa Musayn al Islam in the UK. As early as 1971, he would use his premises to hold the Majaris for 10 nights during Muharram. He is well known both in the Pakistan and the Koja communities of South London. Ijaz uncle contracted the disease while doing what he loved, and that was charity, as when he was participating in his yearly trip to provide assistance in remote villages in Pakistan, is that's where he contracted the virus. He will be remembered as one of the first members of our community to settle in the UK. The next individual that we honor is again somebody very close to my heart, Marhuma Zehrabai Onali Datu, who was the mother of Marhum Mustafa Datu, uh, who herself only passed away uh, a year ago on the 21st of June 2020. Uh, the next Marhum that we honor is Marhuma Gulzaranti Hasnali Kesvani, who passed away on the 14th of September 2020. Gozaranti was the mother of Sister Thayaranti Jan Muhammad and the mother-in-law of Brother Barakat Uncle Jan Muhammad. We also lost a dear mother of our sister Siddiqa Rashid, Marhuma Hamida Bai Ratansi, who passed away in India um, on the 26th of September 2020. We now honor the father of one of my friends and a Haydari volunteer, Sister Tabassam Mauji. Her father, Marhum Hussein Ali Musa Mithwani, passed away on the 18th of October, 2020. And another very um, active member of our community, Saika Antiwalji, lost both her parents as well uh, this year only. Um, Marhum Muhammad Bashir Ramtullah and Marhum Farid Daban Ramtullah. They both returned to the creator less than one month apart. Marhuma Faridanti left first on the 11th of February and Marhum Muhammad Bashir Antula passed away on the 5th of March. Uh, the message says life will never be the same. It will always be in our hearts. And the final Marhum that we wish to honor today was Marhuma Sograbai Muhammad Ali Fida Hussein who passed away just this Saturday, gone on the 8th of May, 2021. Mm -hmm. So Garanti was the mother of Sister Sabira Alidina, mother-in-law of Brother Hussein Alidina, sister and sister-in-law of Amina and Prince Haider Ali. We um, send our peace and blessings to all our marhumin. And although it's very sad to remember them and it brings sad memories as well to us, but the fact that we know that they have gone and we are soon to follow them as well, and as such, we say salam to them. Assalamu alaikum, ya ahl al diyari min al mu'min wal muslimin. Wa inna insha'Allah wa bikum lahiqun. Peace be upon you all, O inhabitants of the dwellings. Indeed, we are, Allah willing, soon to follow. Can we? I, can I request everybody to please recite a surah al-Mubarak, al-Fatiha, please? And given that this is our final session today for the holy month of Ramadan, for those of you that were watching yesterday, we bade farewell to the month of Ramadan by looking at the dua of Imam Zainul Abidin alayhi salam. Today, to bid farewell to the month of Ramadan, we're going to just look at three or four lines from the supplication, bidding farewell to this holy month that comes to us from Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salam, in which he says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, wa an tajala shahrana hada aqda ma shahri Ramadan, marra alayna munzu unzilna ila dunya baraka. Ya Allah, may you decide this month of Ramadan to be the greatest month of blessings that we have ever witnessed since we were sent down to this world. La yakunu hada al-wada' minni lahu wada' fana. That Ya Allah, please do not decide that these words of bidding farewell to the month of Ramadan is the last farewell of mine after which I will pass away, after which I will be no more. And do not decide this time to be the last of my meeting with the month of Ramadan. Rather that you may decide, inshallah, that you will enable me to witness the coming Ramadan while I am enjoying your expansive graces and attaining the best of my hopes. Verily, you are the hearer of prayers. My dear viewers, this month 
we not only have we remembered our marhumin, but this month has been a very difficult month for the Muslim Ummah in general with the calamities and the atrocities that we see happening in Palestine, with the attack that we see happening in Kabul. This is, these are very difficult times for us. And we pray as we bid farewell to the month of Shah Ramadan that not only do we live to see the next Shah Ramadan, but we pray that this is our last Shah Ramadan without the awaited savior of humanity. We pray that inshallah next time we celebrate the month of Ramadan with our Imam under the shade of his mercy, under the shade of his justice. And with that, I bid you farewell. Fatima bids you farewell. And if I could ask you all to end with the recitation of Dua Al-Faraj. Thank you very much. Wassalamu alaikum. Allahumma kul valiye Al-Hujjat ibn al-Hasan Salawatuka Oh, 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 oh,